cover. Look at that booty lish. Ooh. Bam! What's up you guys, Shardimus Prime here doing another Transformers figure review on the Transformers Generations Voyager class Roadbuster. If you're trying to get your Transformers figures, you can get a big, 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 get your big badass toys at BigBadToyStore.com. Click the link in the description below. This looks like it could be a very cool figure. He comes with lots of weapons. It says customizable weapons over there. He's part of the Thrilling 30, as you can see written right over there. And then the picture comes across the side. And then on the back over here, we see both modes and a bio on Roadbuster. If you want to read that, go ahead and pause it now. And we get some specs on him. If you want to look at that, pause it now. And then here's the side of the packaging Autobot logo, and it fell over, and there's a top. And uh, let's get to it and crack this thing open. So here's Roadbuster out of the packaging, and not a bad figure. Now, if you weren't able to tell, uh, he does come with a sticker sheet, and the sticker sheet is very, very complicated. They have very, very tiny, tiny stickers on them, and applying the stickers was not fun. I, I actually really hated the experience. Um, I highly recommend you use some tweezers, so if you're going to pick this figure up, yeah, get some tweezers over here. That's going to help you a lot. That experience, though, of putting these stickers on, it was just horrible. And it's not that I have a big problem with applying stickers. You know, as a Transformers fan, I actually really don't mind, but it's these stickers over here that totally suck. So I'm not going to rant in the entire video about the damn stickers. I just want to get it out of the way. And uh, there's going to be a couple points I'm going to make, but aside from that, um, it's not a bad figure. I actually kind of like it. He comes with these weapons that really make him look really cool. You know, he comes with six different pieces of weapons over here. So let's take a closer look at those, and then we'll take a closer look at Roadbuster. So this is probably the largest weapon that he comes with. I like it. It has a little missile launcher and everything, so you could push down right there, and there it goes. It fires very, very well, and it does have a port on the side right here. We also get this guy over here. It looks pretty awesome. It looks like a banana clip right over there. I guess you could uh, plug this right here on the side. You can plug whatever you want into these things. You know, the possibilities are endless. And then you get this handgun-looking guy right over here. I think that looks pretty cool. And then you get this uh, shoulder cannon piece. Very much reminds me of War Machine. Doesn't have to be a shoulder cannon though. You could, you know, put it wherever you want to. Then you get this guy right here. He also has this hinge joint right there and you get some ports or just the one port right there and one port right there. Then lastly, if you wanted to get romantic with your weapons, uh, you're not allowed to because it says no handhold. Uh, oh yeah. So not a bad head sculpt on this guy. We get some nice sculpted detail in here. I think the brown paint is very, very glossy though. I think that's a little bit strange, but not a big deal. And the visor doesn't move up or anything as I can tell. And it looks like he was going to have light piping because we get this clear piece of plastic over here, but nope, he doesn't have any actual light piping. You can see the figure has a couple of ports right here at the top for some shoulder cannons and whatnot. We get this Autobot symbol right there on his chest, and you have the option of putting his Wrecker symbol on there instead if you want to do that, so I think that is pretty neat. But unfortunately, and here's what I'm kind of talking about, is the sticker itself doesn't fit in that space right there. That's extremely irritating, and that's kind of consistent throughout the entire figure. Like right here, this sticker, I put this on at the edge, and then it's got some overlap. I hate that kind of stuff, man. I don't mind applying stickers, it's just the plastic doesn't help, or this whole thing then instruction tells you to put it right underneath the port right there, and then there's this hole right there. But the fact of the matter is that the stickers do make the figure pop, and it does look better with the stickers on, so I have to say that. But yeah, the directions, just, and just, I don't know, the execution of this is just a pain in the ass, and it took forever, man. It took a lot of time getting this done. I mean, it does look cool, but geez, some patience is required, for real. And here's looking at the back of it, you can get some stickers right over here, and then getting these guys right here, and, you know, stuff lined up, it's just, uh, I don't know, it was just frustrating. So the figure has some pretty decent articulation. The head can move up a bit, it moves down, rotate side to side, a little, little bit of neck pivot in there. Shoulders move outward, they do rotate forward, very clickety clackety ratchet joints over here. Unfortunately, on the right side, uh, this has gotten very loose for me though. Yeah, that'll tend to just sink down. So if he's got a heavy weapon in this right hand, it droops right down over there. No waist joint or anything like that. Uh, his legs can move outward pretty far. They can kick forward, but this piece right here kind of hinders that leg articulation or that hip articulation, so you can detach it a little bit to make him kick a little bit more, and that doesn't look too bad if you do that. Uh, he does have an upper thigh swivel over here. He has double jointed knees, and you could really bend them inward. If you want to bend in more, you can move that wheel outward due to the transformation. You could fold it up like that. And the ankles move down, they move up, you get side to side movement, and he does have an inward ankle pivot, which I really, really like. This is a Voyager class figure, so he stands just under seven inches tall. And here's Roadbuster compared to his movie version from Dark of the Moon. And here he is next to his fellow record Voyager class Whirl, which I did not apply the stickers on at all. And here he is next to the Marvel Legends Big Time Letdown Spider-Man. So I like the transformation of this figure, it is actually quite simple. So will you take us away, Bumblebee? 
Alrighty, so first thing we're going to do is lift up this piece over here, rotate that all the way up, and then he has these two pieces that are going to fold outwards, and these are going to build the front of his bumper. And then he has his arms, which you want to scoot all the way up, and then swing these down. So that's going to turn in at two places. And then he's going to bend at both points of the elbows. You're going to kind of make an L shape kind of thing going on here. So you're going to get this little green tab into this little slot that you can see running across right there. So you're going to bend it uh, that way. So that it's going to kind of make this weird shape going on right there. And then you're going to get that tabbed in to the top over there and do the same thing on this side. Uh, rotate this hinge up and then the other hinge down. So that's basically what you're doing. First hinge goes up, other hinge goes down. And then make sure that this brown tab goes into this slot right here. And get that all connected. Come on, get connected. There we go. All right. And then, yeah, you want to fold the wheels out over here. And then you want to make sure that the feet are pointing downwards and that the bottom of the feet are going inward. And then you're just going to collapse this all together. This whole assembly just goes in as one piece. And you want to tab these two together right there. You can clearly see the tabs. There's a green tab that's supposed to go into this section over here. And that's it. Yeah, that's Roadbuster. And it looks great. I actually really like this alt mode a lot. Silver paint added right there. But the stickers actually really make a huge difference on this guy, especially in his vehicle mode. This looks really, really cool. I'm liking that a lot. Just having the stickers over here just really adds so much. He's got these number sixes right over there. Then some more stickers right there on the sides. He has these clear windows and he has some windows right there in the front. I think that's pretty awesome. And I like the bolts sculpted throughout on the figure too. So very nice sculpt. Wheels look pretty cool too so you can go through some rough terrain. And he rolls very, very well. I mean, yeah, no complaints about that at all. That's rolling just nice, yeah. Let's just get one more look at this four-wheeler mode though. I just think it looks really cool. I like how compact it is. I think it's very compact and it just looks great. You don't really get any kibbly bits or anything at the bottom. I guess maybe this head, but really that's about it. This looks awesome. I'm really digging it a lot. Now for his alt mode, the instructions give you two suggestions. This is the first suggestion over here where you put all the weapons on here and I think it looks pretty cool. Of course you can put them wherever you want but you know this isn't really a bad look. Then there's this other suggestion where you can build a huge weapon. So you want to start with this piece right over here. You take this guy, plug it right there in the back. And then you take this scope piece then plug it right on top like so. And then you can take this smaller gun plug that in there and then you want to take this guy plug this into the side and then this big old guy right here just sits at the top and then you get this giant weapon and then you can plug it in right over here and badow go 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 I'm gonna wreck it I mean really as badass as this looks I think it's just a little too much uh maybe just taking this top piece off over here damn that missile just keeps firing but I think that looks a little cooler I think I actually prefer this look for his alt mode more than anything else well I guess one thing that's kind of neat about it is that you can hinge this right here at the bottom and hinge this one over here so that's pretty cool I like that there's a ton of options with this figure though so without any weapons or anything Roadbuster measures at about six inches across and he's about two and a half inches tall for some random size comparisons here he is next to the Transformers 1 Bumblebee and then our Voyager class helicopter drift over here so it's not a bad sized figure so yeah that's my review guys overall I like the figure after I applied the stickers the sticker part really really sucks I don't recommend it for kids this is definitely more for the adult collector because it does require a bit of patience and if you really think I'm just being oversensitive about the stickers go do it yourself and let me know what you think when you're done all right I hope you guys like my video if you did please hit the like button leave a comment don't forget to subscribe and check out tformers.com for a photo gallery of images from this review and the latest in Transformers news I'll catch you guys later peace Ah, you suck.